Hey everybody, so today we're going to be working with Express and the reason I'm choosing Express is because I know it better and it's something pretty graphical for the, for the most part um, it'll get you seeing results in Node quicker and this isn't going to be part of the regular tutorial like lineup like the beginner tutorials it's going to be more of a what would be the word, just a spin-off I guess, a, a whole separate branch so um, basically to get started with Express, we would do ver app equals require. If I can spell require Express, and then dot create server semicolon. All right, and then so basically we have an app that's equaling Express uh, in the create server function. So we're creating a a server basically in it with the express framework so then we'll do app dot get which is a function of this um, create server and app dot get forward slash function rec res Um, res dot send hello world and semicolon and another semicolon there and basically this right here this slash is basically your default um, domain so it's like when you type in the website name it's like you know they have that forward slash at the very end of it it just basically that's the default so if we had something like forward slash about, that'd be like the about page. So or forward slash contact, that'd be like the contacts page, and so on and so forth. So this is creating a function and passing it as a parameter, and basically what it's doing is sending through the res parameter hello world. And you're probably wondering what res is, and it, you'll see in just a second, but to get this app going, we need to do app dot listen, and we're going to do port three thousand. And I think we went over an app dot listen type of deal uh, before, so this should seem somewhat familiar. So basically, let's save that file and bring open over the uh, command prompt, and let's just do node app dot js. And you see we have the server running. I don't think that's right, but let's see. Um, or here we go. Local host. And let's just do three thousand. And as you see, nothing's happened. Oh, maybe something happened. I jumped the gun. Uh, local ho host. Post 3000. Nope. So, let me figure out what the problem is. Alright, so basically what happened was I saved in the wrong directory, um, saved it in a, the other file I was working on, and, and yeah, that was pretty much it. So I basically saved it in the right directory this time, and now when I run it, I get node app.js. I get this error. Now, it's saying cannot find module express. So, you're probably wondering what that means. Like, I thought, hey, I thought we included express right there. The thing with Node is you have to install the modules. So, it's really easy with any uh, Node install now, any new one. Uh, NPM, which is like that, NPM, it, it comes with any uh, Node ins installation and basically it's how you install mo known modules so if we do npm install express there's two ways you can do this we can do npm install express which is good for what we're doing right now or we can do npm install its tag g express which will install it globally so we have the express command but we don't want to do that right now um, we'll probably do that later but for now this will do if we do that, 
it's going to run it and in Linux or Mac you may have to do sudo if you don't know how to do sudo you need the password on the machine for the account at least and uh, there you go it installs all the express modules and requ requirements so now well, now if we uh, run this again we get here we go invented IO for JavaScript and perfect right now it's actually running so if we do a new window and we do local host 3000 we get hello world just like we did before now you're probably wondering what's the advantage of express well express has a lot of things in it that really makes node in making websites in node a lot easier um, as you see we get all these node modules all this this is all the express stuff it, they just added the file basically to the directory so basically it's all referencing back into all this hard coded uh, s well mostly JavaScript I would imagine and maybe some C I don't know but yeah that's pretty much it so for next time um, we'll probably be going into more details and how to set up the uh, basic starter framework in express so see you guys next time